business ethic. Um, they would loan the money, get them going. And this, in turn, is going to give them tax money. It's going to give somebody another job. And that's... And some of the rules and regulations together are outdated. Mm -hmm. uh, they should be changed. Uh, what they, kind of rules are you looking to change? Well, number one, in the past 10 years, they've sat with the bar owners with three different rules and regulations that they have to abide by. Uh, more paperwork. Uh, it's The paperwork is nobody's business. You know, um, the last one they put through was we know we want to know how much you made last year. Well, Uncle Sam knows, and the state revenue knows. That's all that has to be done. And, but why does the city have to know? I mean, they can punch in the computer to go to Jeff City, pull up your tax number. But that's too easy. They want to fill out paperwork. Go have it notarized and that's in that way. Waste your time. So as far as the smoking ban goes, are you gonna to work to get that lifted? Uh it's gonna be How do you think you're gonna to try to go about that? Well, uh, we took up a um, petition. Okay, the petition, um, this morning's paper, yesterday morning's paper, um, they had certified enough signatures to either city council either throw it out and start over or put it up for the voters again. So. If the smoking ban does get lifted, do you see yourself opening Ray's Lounge back up? Well, I've sold the business. Okay. Uh, but you know, uh, I know I've had, there's a lot of students that have uh, my cell number, the texting and my home number. And there's not a day or a night goes by that somebody, hey, when are you going to open up and get a full dollar picture again? Because nobody in town has got a full dollar picture. It's true, you're popular. <laughs> uh, Places I know, three have tried to do it. Haven't been able to. But I have done it. And I might, I might. I think that's all of our questions. Do you have anything else that. Well, my main thing is I see your. Uh, Delta Theta sorority. Sorority. This is what I like the young to do, is like I say, get everybody. Now, two years ago, um, there was a bunch of them that I wanted to, you know, for Red Show and, and something, I forget which one. Anyway, they went down to, re to register and they asked them, says, have you ever registered before? Oh yes, I live in St. Joseph. Well, you can't register. Yeah. So Wednesday night when we had our special, and they come in, I said, okay, did you go register? Because if you didn't, I'm going to charge you double. <laughs> and they said, Ray, they told us we couldn't. I said, what do you mean, we couldn't? I said, it's a federal law to deny you to register your go. And so the next Wednesday, or the next week, uh, it was on a Tuesday, uh, we met down there, and I walked in with them, and they said, we're here to register to vote. First thing out of her mouth was, have you ever registered before? Yes. Same joke. I'm sorry. And so... 
the other girl stepped in and said, well, I'm ready from St. Louis, that means I can't vote. No, you can't vote. Uh, sometimes I have a temper. And I told a woman, I said, if I had a U.S. Marshal with me, I would have him or her to arrest you for denying these two people to the street. It's a felony. And she looked at me and said, you know, well, they're already re I said, look, all it is, they register here. You send the paperwork back to St. Joe's in St. Louis to take them off the register there. And the register here. Oh. I said, yeah, oh, I do. And I wish more students would go and register. It's like I said, they could change everything. We'll try our hardest to help you out with that. I mean, if you get the sororities and fraternities and everybody to register, uh, and even get somebody down there in government class or something to run as councilman. Yeah, I would like to see it. I mean, you got, you got 20,000 there, how many is it? Jury? Oh gosh, I have no idea. A few thousand at least. 10,000? Probably right around there. Look how many votes could funnel to one candidate. There's not that many people that was going to get off their duff and go vote. Because if you look at the voting record, there's very little turnout. So we'll do your job. We will. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Uh, when this is, uh, you know, this goes in the newspaper down there? Um, we are actually, it'll be online. An online news journal next Friday is when it'll go up. Uh, let me give you my email address. Okay, yeah. And, right and just uh, email me a copy. I'd like to read when you're done. We will. Thank you so much. We and, and I'll, it. I'll watch the. National News <laughs>